of w squared to base 2. So you will be told to solve the following logarithmic equation log w squared plus 2w plus 3 to base 2 is equal to 4 plus log w squared to base 2. So you must ensure you have the same base all through. It's when you can solve a logarithmic equation, isn't it? So this is base 2. Here there is no base. Base 2 meaning you introduce log to base 2. So if you introduce log to base 2, you must just introduce log to base 2 because that is 1, isn't it? The log of a number to the same base is, is 1. So we have we have here log to base 2 of w squared plus 2w plus 3 is equal to 4 then times log 2 to base 2 the log of a number to the same base is 1 then plus log w squared to base 2 we now have the same base all through after having the same base all through you get rid of that coefficient so there is no coefficient here coefficient here is 4, 4 becomes the power isn't it? So if you take 4 there to become the power, you have log 2 raised to power 4, isn't it? Are we together? Then you ensure this is one term and this one is one, one term, isn't it? So this side of the equation we have log to base 2, w squared plus 2w plus 3 to be equivalent to log to base 2, addition goes back to multiplication, isn't it? So it's like we have 2 raised to power 4 times w squared. 2 raised to power 4 is 16, isn't it? So 16 times w squared, you get 16 w squared. So once you've ensured that this is one term and this is one term, you now ignore the logs on either side of the equation, isn't it? Then after that, you now get w squared plus 2 w plus 3 is equal to 16 w squared, isn't it? That is quadratic, isn't it? Are we together? When you bring w squared this side, it becomes negative w squared, isn't it? So negative 16 w squared plus w squared will be negative 15 w squared, isn't it? Plus 2 w plus 3 is equal to? So you simplify it, isn't it? After ignoring the logs, this is what you are left with. Then, when you bring this, it becomes negative. So negative 16 w squared plus there, then the other side will remain with 0, isn't it? So this plus this you get negative. 15. So it's factorization working. A product negative 15 times 3, negative 45, and positive 2. Which number gives you a product of negative 45 and positive 2? Are they, they are not there, isn't it? They are not integers, isn't it? So when they are not integers, it is not easy to see them. So you use for adding formula, isn't it? So can you use quadratic formula to get the value of w? So quadratic formula we have a w squared plus b w plus c zero. So you can see our a is negative fifteen, our b is positive two, our c is positive three. So if you use the quadratic formula, what do you get? Use the quadratic formula, which is w to b equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So can you substitute these values, these values of a, b and c to get me the two solutions of w? Can you do that? Substitute the two values. So I have negative, negative b, b is 2, that is negative 2. Let us start with the positive solution plus square root of b squared, that is going to be 4 minus 4 into negative 15, 4 into negative 15, into c is 3, into 3, then everything is over, 2 times a, 2 into negative 15, isn't it? So from this calculator, the first solution I'm getting is negative 0 0.385. So I have negative 0 0.385. Then the second solution, when you put the negative sign in the middle, what do you have? You get positive 0 0.519. Nine. So the negative solution you ignore because the problem was involving logarithms. Have you seen that? So the positive solution is the solution. So you get a value is 0 0.51519. And you have solved 
that given problem. Are we together? You confirm the values, 